name's Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal, and I'm delighted to be here in Intersec in Dubai and be joined by Hassam Al Haddad, the Chief Executive Officer of ACIUS. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to see you again. It's been a whole year. I'm really excited and thank you very much for having me here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Um, as always, ATS have not been slow in coming out of the blocks with products for 2024 and beyond, and we're going to learn a little bit about them. Hassan, can you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing specifically for Intersect and what are you going to be doing moving forward? So, uh, this year we have... Um uh, uh, done a, a quite wide uh, development in the range of the project, uh, products that we have. Uh, uh, most, uh, most of them were focusing on the ease of installation and trying to bring innovation to the, uh, to the user uh, of how they can um, find a solution for a very uh, long problems that the, uh, we believe that the industry is facing. The most important thing on the fire detection is the installation and after installation. So uh, we, are, we are launching our new firmware on our, uh, new, uh, on our fire alarm control panel, uh, which uh, it gives the opportunity to the, uh, to the installer to find all the problems that's available on a loop even after the installation has been done. So I'll just, I will just run with you uh, some scenarios. So, you, uh, so the installer comes in and installs the building. Uh, everything went perfect. He leaves it and then he comes after a couple of months, a years and what have you. And they have a problem maybe with wiring, earth leakage, something like that. And what happens usually, especially when it comes to earth leakage uh, uh, problems, the installer have to uh, really interrogate each and every section of the device, go back to the old ways of disconnecting the loop and trying to find where is the problem is. Now with the new uh, uh, advanced technology that we have put in, uh, we let the panel to go and interrogate each and every device. Just ask a simple question, are you okay? All your cable links are okay. And if it's fine, then go to the next device. So it's, it actually does the exact same thing that you want to do it, automatically. So we're really very proud of it. We showed it to all our distributors. We're going to have a, a, a separate seminars after the launch. And everybody have seen this. They were really thrilled with the opportunity of trying to find problems um, uh, happening to the loops. Uh, and, and, and this can make their life easy and the client easy uh, after, installations, uh, after the installation has been done. So a product that makes life easier for the installer, a product that makes life easier for the end user. Everybody needs to be happy. That's absolutely true. And, and, and the feature, what we call it, is the uh, self-healing uh, 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 process. Mm -hmm. We have introduced that as well for the, our voice evacuation. Wow. For maybe for the first time ever, now what you are able to do is, uh, let's say you have the evacuation system. Now, system we call it the boutique. Uh, our first launch approved by the civil defense, approved by EN54, and, and, uh, and it's the same concept. So you have one part of the system is down, and the installer comes and replaces that uh, uh, system. Now, in the old days, you need to, again, bring your computer, bring your commissioning tools, commission everything, set it up, do... Uh, now what we do, we have the self-healing feature, similar concept to the fire alarm system, you just put the new device and say, heal yourself by yourself. So what happens, the, uh, the, the firmware goes and finds the same configuration from another active device on the network, automatically install it into the new device, all the configuration will be configured back again, and the system will be up and running in a few moments without the need of interventions with real commissioning computers and all this stuff. Everybody's happy, the, the system self-heals, the installer has not got as much uh, intervention to do, and so the end user's product is available all the time. That's correct. That's so, correct. how long has this been in development? You must be really excited with this. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been happening uh, for, I think, a couple of years by now. Uh, it's gone into uh, a lot of uh, 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 development efforts, and then after that, 
testing, um, uh, rigorous testing uh, uh, time took us to, to really reach to the launch. And then after that, obviously, we approved it for EN54 approvals. So that's uh, more testing involved. Uh, until now, we are just putting it on the booth, uh, fully ready to to the end user to go and um, uh, to the installers to go and use that. So, in terms of um, what's going on in the back of the system, can that be looked at remotely as well as uh, on site? Absolutely. So uh, the beauty, first of all, the beauty with whatever we do is basically backward compatible. So which means like if you have a uh, already systems installed with the same fire alarm control panel, you can just update the firmware and then everything will be backward compatible. So you don't need to really change any equipment. You just need to do a simple update uh, to the firmware, similar like how the updates comes to your mobile. Uh, we're trying to make it as easy as possible um, and user friendly uh, to, to the end user. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, this is how we, we would love, love to do it and this is how we want to take it forward. Um, connecting it to the cloud, that's I think we have launched it from uh, a couple of years back and it's still, um, it's still there and you are able to remotely access uh, uh, your fire alarm control panels or even your uh, PAVA equipment, uh, check the status of them or monitor the situation of uh, what's going on in the real, uh, in the real installation uh, at that moment. So a real, a real game changer. Yes. Excellent. In relation to Intersect, why is Intersect so important to both natives? In, we've been partnering with uh, Intersect for the past now what, 18 years almost, uh, from the from the inception of Etis Middle East in the um, here in the in Dubai. Uh, it is the most attended and the most important exhibition. Uh, and appreciated uh, expo and exhibition in the Middle East. Um, not only here you will see new distributors, new customers, but also the, the sheer innovation which is coming from all the companies uh, will really will add a great value for the industry. The industry of our own business is a small industry. So it's, uh, it's amazing that if we can gather up all of those uh, mines in one location, and then we look at how we can save lives and properties by providing and, in, uh, and announcing new innovations. And Intersec, I think, is the location to do, though, to do so. I agree. You're looking at what is now becoming a international event taking place right. here in the heart of Dubai. And um, 18 years as a supporter of the event, you must be really, really proud to be part of that. We, we are very proud of that, to be very honest. We are very proud of that. So, looking at the mega, mega, mega projects that are going on in the Middle East region and the whole issue with life safety, one of the things that um, we've been talking about recently is the need for that uh, interaction between architect, construction, fire alarm installer, fire alarm uh, manufacturer. It appears to me that that is now beginning to happen, that they're looking at, rather than building a building, and then putting a system in. They're looking at a system at the same time as they do the designs. Is that something that you're finding as well? Uh, uh, actually, yes. And we've been uh, we've been actively uh, participating along with consultants and clients to do the initial setup designs. Uh, look at, for example, the Mall of Emirates that we are proudly uh, yesterday got the award for uh, one of the installations there. Yes. Uh, it's been uh, designed at the early stages to uh, look at all the acoustics when it comes to the voice evacuation um, or the audio systems um, and put in place the design uh, way before uh, installation takes place. Um, and yes, I think it's more becoming uh, uh, fit to purpose rather than just designing in general aspects. Um, and you, we see a lot of, of these type of designs happening uh, in the Middle East, and I, I can say it's more, most of them is getting initiated from the Middle East. And I think it's it's hugely encouraging now that we're seeing fire alarm systems and evacuation systems being seen as really important, and they're taken forward at the early stages. And looking back 10 or 15 years, as you quite rightly said, it was looked as an add-on afterwards rather than being integral to the uh, initial design, which I think shows what where the industry is coming. It shows that Intersect brings everybody together to to discuss these things, so everybody's happy. You're absolutely right, and and then and then we, we, we from from our side we keep on adding value to bring in, in a, more innovation 
uh, to the user and the installer. One of the uh, one of the things, for example, if you look at the fire alarm system, we have the new uh, uh, bracket that we are uh, installing our devices above all ceiling. Um, it's been historically, uh, as per the standard, you need uh, devices, you need fire detection above the fall ceiling if you have a more than 800 centimeter um, above the fall ceiling space, mm -hmm. you need to protect it with yeah. detectors. And historically, they were pulling all the cables above the fall ceiling. Uh, it w the maintenance of those devices was really very difficult uh, task to do. Now with the new bracket that we've already launched in uh, at, uh, at Intersec, it allows you to bring the bracket down, maintain it, change it, test it, bring it back up again without the needs of putting um, uh, put infrastructure of cables above all, uh, above all ceiling. One of the things which our customers, they were always asking us to do is to have our voice, because the voice evacuation and public address are all integrated, so you want to play the music and um, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the installation, now with our uh, uh, new, uh, new streamers uh, from Etis, you can add now uh, music through Spotify or, or Apple Play uh, or Bluetooth, you can just make it an add-on to our new uh, range of ATS and voice evacuation. And if you have an old system, you don't need to worry because we have the adapter that allows you uh, to do that. Uh, and now you, in a, uh, you can play all of those uh, music from your phone and you can stream it if you wish. So that's an, uh, an add-on uh, to uh, to our system to make well, the insula it's, insulation it's much more certainly better. an exciting add-on, and I think when you look at the way the, the modern world's going and the modern usage, so yes, music is, is a big part of everyone's life, and having the ability to do that through existing devices and the new ones without having to install a separate uh, system just for music is hugely beneficial. That's, that's correct, that's correct. We are... Uh, in another year, 2024 is going to be exciting. We're going to see new developments going on. Is there anything in the background that we're going to be talking about next year? You'll never know. You'll let's never uh, know. Um, let's uh, let's wait for uh, uh, Intersec 2024, uh, and I'm 100% sure uh, if you visit us, you'll see more innovations and m more ideas. Uh, that we'll be very proud to uh, to show it to you at Intersec 2024. As everything with Aegis and the Velux Cloud and the development and the innovation. Never standing still, this man's always busy and his team, as you can see behind me, all the way through this video, working hard, showing people exactly what the product's done. Hassan, it's a pleasure, my friend. Really appreciate it. Thank you very Take much. Take care and stay safe. Thank you very much.